I sometimes overhear them like, oh look at this guy, showing off and stuff. I wasn't born with it. I've been working for it. They have been fucking sitting on their ass for like, all their life. I've been waking up every morning, going to the gym. My name's Damien, I'm 20 years old and um, my life's about bodybuilding. I got into bodybuilding because I wanted to impress people, especially girls. Felt like I was uh, basically invisible, so I thought that might change something and it did, but then it became something else, it became my lifestyle. There was a time where I was thinking about quitting bodybuilding and my friend showed me a person on, U on YouTube called Ziz and I thought, I'll just, I thought yeah, I'll give it a shot and watch it uh, at first I thought, who's this fucking faggot? and it's like, I kept watching him and you know, he was skinny like me and he got bigger and bigger and he achieved something and basically I wanted to be like him I have to eat so much food because I'm an extreme ectomorph my body, if I, if I was eating like a normal person, which is 2,000 calories a day, I wouldn't, my body wouldn't grow because there was no reason for it to grow. So I have to feed it, overfeed it basically. So it's about 4,000 calories a day, split up six meals a day. I was stay energetic in the gym is having my meals before the workout. So basically trying to get as many meals as possible before I work out, which is usually about three meals a day. The last meal before the workout is going to be a big one, which is rice, chicken and some vegetables. And the second thing is music. People ask me to come out, you know, drink and, you know, maybe someone asks me tonight, you know, go and hang out for a bit. I just can't, I know I can't because it's going to take, you know, my time and basically I'm going to miss my meal out, which is not good because you know, I have to keep up and feed my body because if I don't, I know it's, it's not going to work and I'm not going to grow. What my parents think doesn't really bother me, but my mom sometimes says, oh, I'm getting too big or I'm eating, t I'm eating too much. But I know she loves me, you know, eating much and getting bigger because she, when I was skinnier, she was like always saying, oh, eat something, you need to put some weight on. And I know she's happy. I think my dad's, yeah, my dad's opinion is the same. The first competition that I'm going to do is called NABA competition in Billingham. Um, it's under 20s, uh, it, the ca category is under 20s for me. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of scared to do it because, you know, the first time I don't know what to do, I don't know what to bring, I don't know how to, like, you know, act. Um, I'm scared because of, I think, my pausing isn't strong and, you know, I can't, I, I don't know how to properly hide my weak points in my body. I don't know how to show that I've got how to show the strong points in my body. So you know, there's still 50 days out. My training regime is, you know, basically pushing myself harder than ever and eating more than ever, better than ever, and uh, you know, squeezing in my pausing routine at the end of it, every workout. <laughs> Never fucking listen to anyone, never let people tell you what you can't do, do your research, go to gym, be focused, train as hard as you can, eat as best you can, then be patient with it.